I'm interested in cooperatives, I suppose, because over the last few years, I've become more and more interested in how people and communities can take ownership of what they do, um, take more control over, over what they do, and to try and cre create more equality as well. Um, and the more I've become interested in those sort of issues, the more it inevitably brings you towards things like cooperative ownership systems, social enterprise, community share schemes, that kind of stuff. Um, so I love the concept of it. I feel like in the kind of communities that I'm from in the South Wales Valleys areas, um, these are communities that grew up during the Industrial Revolution around industry. So the industry was a sort of more uh, traditional capitalist model, but the communities themselves were based on a kind of mutuality. You know, the, all our welfare halls and miners institutes were, came from money from the pay packets of, of the men who were working there. Um, ideas like the Tradiga Cottage Hospital that served as a model, according to an Iron Bevan, for the NHS system. That was a similar idea of mutuality, people coming together to, to support and help themselves. Um, and so I feel like in the DNA of the communities that I come from, there is a kind of sympathy for the idea of just working together, cooperating. Um, and there's a, a, a clear need, I think, in those communities that have suffered so much from deindustrialization, that have lost a lot of services, lost a lot of amenities. There's a real desire to want to take back what they've lost. The tools for doing that kind of thing, I think, do lie in cooperatives and social enterprise and community shares. But those communities don't often uh, feel connected to those ideas as concepts. They're, they're not familiar with them. So there's a kind of a, a disconnect going on there. So I want to try and put as much energy as I can into bringing those two things together, the, the need, the desire, and the tools. Um, and I think uh, the more I can learn about it, the more I can sound like I know what I'm talking about uh, when I do talk about it, and the more I can help people, hopefully, or, or help to uh, you know, offer them up the tools at least so they can help themselves, um, I think that's something that uh, I would really like to devote a lot more energy to. The strength of the cooperative movement is in what it says. It, it's about cooperation, it's about solidarity, um, and it's an international movement. And I think if we don't want to just tinker around the edges of trying to make a fairer economy, not just in this country, but across the world, then we have to really not just, like I say, play around the edges. We have to get our hands into the machine and change the guts of the machine. And we can only do that if there is as much solidarity in this movement as possible, because that is a big, big ask, and there's a lot of resistance to it. But if it is, if it can connect up on an international basis, I think the kind of the work ethic, the dignity and the respect that's inherent in the movement and the innovation that's in the movement, I think it can overcome anything. But it will only happen if there's solidarity, not just between cooperatives in this country, but all across the world. But if they do come together and do that, I think they can change the world.